And it's news, news, ain't that news, ain't that something to see News, news, you talk about the news, it's mighty good news to me I got news about some ordinary men, they heard it Preach time and again to be patient and grateful, amen And don't agitate around here, they argue and Hello, Lunenberg. Welcome to Community News. I'm Faith Beal, and here's what's happening in our town this week and beyond. The third Friday of the month is movie time with grandkids at the Eagle House Senior Community Center. This month, on the 19th, is Wally, and that movie, my grandson loved it so much that even now he's in middle school and he still wants to go into robotics. So it's something I know your grandchildren will enjoy. And if they don't enjoy the movie, I know they're going to enjoy the ice cream social afterwards. Dan Kerouac is doing a performance on Wednesday, July 24th from 4 to 5.30 p.m. at the Eagle House Community Center. He's playing his acoustic guitar and music from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You know, he plays in a Beatles tribute band, and he's known for doing some great work. Come enjoy the diversity and acceptance that our town provides at a fun event, the Picnic with Pride at the Gazebo on Sunday, July 21st from 11 to 2 p.m. at the Town Gazebo. Wow Wednesday Water Day from July 24th at 11 o'clock p.m. through noon outdoors at the Lunenburg Public Library. Come ready for water activities and plan to get wet. The Great Cardboard Boat Race. If you want to laugh, come to this event. It's an annual event and it's wonderful and it's distinctively Lunenburg. And you're going to hear more about it with our interview from our roving reporter Deb Lincoln and she's going to interview our beach coordinator Jen Nass. Hi, I'm Debbie Lincoln, Lunenburg Community News Roving Reporter, and I have the pleasure today of being with Jen Nass, our town beach person, and she's going to tell us a little bit about an upcoming event that we all love, the Cardboard Boat Races. We're getting ready for our Cardboard Boat Race, which takes place on July 27th. It's on a Saturday at 5 p.m., and um, it's been over 20 years that we've been doing this it has evolved over the 20 years and we try to get people to come down and to participate as well as we usually have a really good crowd of of audience too that come down to watch people look forward to this every year and um, what we need to do is to have people come in and get an application and to get the rules so they'll know what they can build and how to build it. It needs to be of cardboard, no styrofoam, nothing, no extra um, but cardboard and they can use duct tape and paint and use their imagination to try to um, build a boat that they think would be really fun. And then they have to get into the boat and actually paddle down the length of the shore. So um, you have to try to make something that's going to float. Now this was a concept that was thought of by Karen Kemp, our children's librarian, yes. many years ago. Yes. And it's been very successful for, you said, 20 years? Over 20 years. And yes. how many entries do we usually have? It, it varies from year to year. Some year, last year there were seven. Um, there have been years when we've had 12. That's probably the range that we have each year. And the, those entries can be individuals or they can be groups or families that get together. They can be organizations like the Boy Scouts. Try to get the Boys and Girls Club involved, but it's hard with their schedule to do it. But any participants from there would be welcome. Or it could be um, adults. One year we had a selectman's boat, and they actually participated. I'm not sure how far they made it, but they did. <laughs> they floated for a little while. So it can be anyone that wants to come and join us. 
And this is at the Town Beach. Yes, it's at the Town Beach on Prospect Street. And again, it's on Saturday, July 27th. The rain date would be the very next day. And it's at 5 p.m. And spectators are welcome to come and watch. And definitely we would like to have lots of people participate with their boats. And can you tell us just a few of the most interesting entries you've ever had? Uh, oh, we had a big battle star one year, like from Star Wars, and they actually put a radio on top and played the theme from Star Wars. It was enormous. It was very cool, and it did stay afloat. Um, we've had some people make, with the, the theme of rub dub dub Three Men in a Tub, and make a little round one, which really only did go around and around and didn't go very far. So we've had that. We've had Viking ships. And we've had um, some that look like PT boats and some. So we've had a variety. And anything, just use your imagination. Anything you can think up, you could make it. Great. So thank you. And be here. Don't miss this even if you're not participating. But put your imagination together. Get that cardboard out and come on down on the 27th. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing everyone there. Thank you. Santa's Pancake Breakfast, what a wonderful fundraiser to support our Boys and Girls Club of Lunenburg. Christmas in July, just what we need. It's Saturday, July 27th from 8 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. at Andrew Hall, 39 Main Street, which is just down the street from the town hall on the left. The Teen Cupcake Decorating class is Monday, July 22nd from 2 to 4 p.m. And that class will help our students learn how to decorate cupcakes. They'll get four of them, which of course they can eat after they decorate them. And they'll learn from an expert cake decorator. This will prepare them for the decorating contest the following week. Harry Potter Day. It's his birthday, Wednesday, July 31st. From 11 to 3 p.m., there'll be a celebration with activities and lunch and a movie and, of course, a birthday cake for Harry Potter. Come join in the fun. Well, that's just some of the activities that are happening this week, and we hope that you'll enjoy them and participate in them. Goodbye. And it's news, news, ain't that news, ain't that something to see? News, news, you talk about the news, it's mighty good news to me. I got news about some ordinary men, they heard it. Preach time and again to be patient and grateful, amen, and don't agitate around here.